all right guys so in this video tutorial i'm gonna talk about conditionals in php so basically we'll be discussing about if else and if else if conditions as well as switch cases so let's go start and here is my php file which i just created php conditionals.php so in which let's go and that is with a angle bracket and, and php then question mark and then angle bracket so whatever the php code we are going to write will go inside this tab so let's get started so let's go let's go for the first condition if condition uh, for that let's let's declare a variable that can, that is like a real life scenario enter password uh, it's gonna be enter password is equal to let's say something it is like my secret password one two three and we have something called which is stored in the database and i know in my future videos i'll be telling you how to connect your php server with that php file for the database so here that is original stored password equal to my secret secret one two three so this is the stored password and And now we want to check if this password is okay then we want to do something so if this password is correct we want to say dollar entered password is equal to equal to dollar original pass stored password so we want to do that. I'm just mentioning this is the correct and then we send a message like we can simply send message by array to our success fully logged in I wanna give this message to the user at the, at the end uh, if I go and reload this page I will go for the Observer um, that is conditionals.php. So currently, this password is not matching. That's this line of code. This condition is false, that's why it is not echoing out this thing. But let's what if we make this thing this equal to this thing that password 123. Now, if I reload this page over here, it will give me the correct statement because currently it's not matching. Yeah. So if I now reload this thing, hooray, you are successfully logged in. Uh, let me make the font size like that. H3 tags. Parse it out. And this is a closing H3 tag. For reload, we are getting this thing, hooray, you are successfully logged in. Then there comes one more thing that is. So I'm just gonna quickly comment this thing out. So we have just commented this thing out. Now I wanna check about this is just for the if condition. Then if else if condition. So if we talk about if else if condition, so let's say we have described two users also here. Uh, Store the user name, which is equal to Mandy Mandy one and entered username then we will simply write mandy mandy12 uh, that's these are the stuffy text it has nothing to do with my my profile so for that i, I write this thing here you know, firstly i want to check the username is there username is equal to equal to then stored username then I want to check for the password else then we want to check for the password it's basically nesting of the loops so this is a lot of work enter password equal to equal to dollar original stored password then we want to echo on this message again um, it only this will happen only this condition is true 
else will simply echo out user that username is not found and if i save and reload this page so currently used but that username is not found but if i change this back to this thing and now if i reload and that's hooray we are not we are logged in sorry i got the spelling mistake over here that is hooray so next thing is if i want to so this as you can see this is a lot of work because firstly we are checking username and then we are checking this and then we are checking this for if else if condition so for that example let's say let's say i have a variable where i'm storing some username let's say admin so for example uh, i will check for if username To, uh, stored username which is stored in the database so then I wanna uh, I just wanna echo out right, you are successfully logged in but if the else if I wanna check I'm checking one more thing if dollar username is not equal to admin So this is kind of a first condition where I'm just checking this thing. Uh, I'm just giving password. And else I wanna print it out something like So this is a typical example of so you can create so many FLS block over here so in order to make those in order to perform those checks so let me go and comment this out real quick so if I save and if I reload now so we are hooray I mean we are successfully logging but if I get something else like in and one two three if I save and reload user with that username is not found so it means that this block of code is running so but now if I put this thing back to Nandy Mandy 1 that is now this block of code will execute this block of code executed as a condition is true now so let me comment uh, comment this out real quick and you can find the source code on my github profile the link I will mentioning in the description so next one is like switch cases and in which I uh, have some variable let's say job chime is something like uh, it, it is simple the uh, simply like reception then I wanna do something if job type of the sum of throw so case and here I'll put the case so if it is reception I wanna echo out your job profile profile is a receptionist then we give break cases And then we have something called Genator and we'll simply call Genator if it is like manager so manager and um, so and then one more case is that is default and in which we'll simply execute that block of code if none of the condition gets true. So I'll simply write over here that is um, 
echo out you won't have any sharp profile um, if I say we have these type of cases over here and this is don't have job profile and h1 tag there slash one if I say now if I reload your job profile is of receptionist is on my screen now if I change this thing chain it and if I save now this line of this line of block will be executed and if I give something else which is not the manager not even the watchman neither receptionist a janitor like we have general manager so now we get you don't have any job profile in there so that's basically it about the switch cases and if we can pass numbers also currently it is dealing with the strings but for the uh, raw numbers we can simply use this uh, without the codes in there the conditions so hope you like the video and just give this video a thumbs up and happy coding and if you want to help us then please make sure you subscribe for most latest videos as well as you can share those videos with those guys who want to learn and start programming so this is this is a course for them because php is a great way to start programming and it's very easy to learn and give this video a thumbs up bye